Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at a few more heresies and heretical views denounced by the Church, and this time, Mormonism. In 1820, at the age of 15, a boy named Joseph Smith Jr. claims to have had a series of revelations in which two angels revealed to him that every religion in the world was totally corrupt. He then apparently sat on these revelations for another ten years until he was twenty-five, and then began talking about them. He claimed to be a prophet and an apostle, and therefore capable of writing inspired scripture, something that none of the actual apostles ever claimed to be able to do. He wrote a few books, one of which is called the Book of Mormon. In that book, he wrote some clearly false things, such as that the Native Americans were the lost tribes of Israel, and had formed two great nations, the Nephites and the Lamanites. Smith taught and practiced polygamy, both in this life and after death, and his teachings about the afterlife was that good Mormons who are baptized in Mormon temples and married for eternity would move into a celestial heaven with their eternal wife and produce lesser spirits whom they would guide to immortality and eternal life. Why? Because Smith taught that everyone who lived this way became a god. He believed in many gods, and his view of God the Father and of Jesus was that they were both physical, bodily beings who had once been human beings who had been exalted to a godlike state. Now, when talking about Protestantism, I referred to making up your own religion. But the truth is that most Protestantism just removes important parts of the faith or adds in things that are false while still believing that Jesus is God. Mormonism is what happens when someone decides to produce their own religion almost out of whole cloth, and a 15-year-old boy at that. Modern-day Mormons believe relatively few of the absurd claims made by Smith in his writings, but even on its most basic level, Mormonism is polytheism, which denies the Holy Trinity, insisting that there are multiple gods, and denying that God is one the most basic central tenet of not only Christianity, but pre-Christian Judaism as well. There is no evidence to support any of the claims of Smith, even about the corruption of religion, and you'd think there would be if we have information about all of these other heresies. His ministry of reviving the correct religion was entirely free of miracles, and worse yet, peppered with prophecies that would of course turn out to be false. I suspect there are many Mormons of today who don't even view Mormonism as a religion at all, in the sense of a God, morals, afterlife sort of thing, since it's a little hard to picture believing any of these teachings about any of these things surrounded by such an evidence vacuum. However, if you're not in the market for a religion, why claim to belong to one? If, on the other hand, you do want a religion that provides guidance, purpose, something to believe in, and hope for a life after death, well you can always search for nearby churches online. Needless to say, the denial of the Trinity alone would make the Mormon religious views heretical, and the insistence that Catholicism could become corrupt is inconsistent with Jesus being God, since he said, Everyone, therefore, that heareth these my words, and doth them, shall be likened to a wise man that built his house upon a rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and they beat upon that house, and it fell not for it was founded on a rock. Matthew 7, 24-25 Jesus says his house will fall not. If the Catholic Church ever becomes totally corrupt, then it will have fallen. That would make Jesus wrong, and therefore not God. So long as Jesus is God, therefore, Mormonism is clearly false. Next time, who are the Jehovah's Witnesses? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.